Hello everyone. My name is Jojo. Welcome to my channel Joyroot Jojo. It's a video tutorial series on Intune. We have already learned all about compliance policy, conditional access, and how compliance policy works along with conditional access. So all this we have already covered. So according to the order, we should be learning about configuration profile now. But unfortunately, we skip it for the time being and move on onboarding Microsoft Defender for Endpoint via Intune. So we are skipping this area for the time being and we are moving on. All right, let's do it practically. First thing, we should have the license for Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. If you have purchased Microsoft 365 eFi license, then Microsoft Defender for Endpoint comes along with it. As I am having Microsoft 365 Business Premium, I have to purchase Microsoft Defender for Endpoint separately. So we first thing the license and we do have the license now. Now we will check how to onboard the Defender for Endpoint. To do that, we have to log into the portal, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint portal. We can log into the Defender portal either from Microsoft 365 Admin Center, scroll down and click on Security. It leads to the Defender portal or you can directly log in by typing https full colon double forward slash security dot microsoft dot com once you are landed on the defender portal scroll down and click on settings so what do you do through the settings we actually connect to microsoft intune to enable sharing of devices information and enhanced policy enforcement so i'll show you one thing before we connect Microsoft Defender portal with Microsoft Intune. If you check it in the Intune portal, go to Endpoint Security and Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Setup. You could see the connection status are unavailable. Connection status should be available to get to onboard Microsoft Defender for Endpoint automatically. So let us uh, enable that option from the Defender portal. As I said, we click on settings and click on endpoints, click on advanced features, scroll down and here you could see Microsoft Intune connection. Connects to Microsoft Intune to enable sharing of device information and enhance policy enforcement. So turn it on. When you turn it on, authenticated telemetry also turned on automatically. So, and when you say click on save preference, now it is connected to the Microsoft Intune. And we can enable the automatic onboarding through Intune now. We will go to the Intune Admin Center, click on Endpoint Security, scroll down and click on Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Now if you check here, you could see the connection status is enabled. And you could see the last synchronized time over here. And we have some other a common settings here you can check it and allow switch it on accordingly this is the second step actually we have completed the second step first step we should have the license and the second step enabling the connectivity between defender portal and microsoft intune admin center so first and second step is completed now now we move to the third step which is endpoint detection and response again go to that in endpoint security click on endpoint detection and response in my case system itself automatically created a default endpoint detection and response uh, policy for all devices in case if it is not created automatically in your environment what you can do you can click on create policy and create a policy for yourself so how to create a policy we will check now click on uh, create policy and uh, select the platform here Select the profile, endpoint detection and response, and create it. Now you have to name it. You can name it like endpoint onboarding EDR. Copy the same and paste it in the description, or you can give a detailed description here. Click on next. And here you could see Microsoft Defender for Endpoint client configuration. We have to select auto from connector. 
see auto from connector option you will be available only if microsoft intune connection is on here if it is off you will not get this auto from connector option only on board and off board option will be available here so in our case as we have enabled the microsoft intune connection here we have received the auto from connector option here and we are selecting that and uh, it is automatically providing some password or some, something here and sample sharing and uh, telemetry reporting frequency it is not required not config you can keep it as non configured because it is deprecated and click on next next and assign to all uses and all devices according to your uh, requirement you can allocate the particular group and create it but in my case system itself have created one and uh, i have removed the assignment from my side and i have created one from my my end so this way once if you done this and it get affected to the all uses system itself see uh, intune admin center will onboard microsoft defender for endpoint to all the devices so such an easy process we do not have to do anything system itself will do 95 percentage of the task now let's see what are the other methods apart from automatic onboarding of microsoft defender for endpoint we have already seen how to automatically onboard microsoft defender for endpoint now we'll see what are the other deployment methods to check that again we come to the microsoft defender portal scroll down and we get settings here on settings we select endpoints and we again we scroll down we find device management onboarding click on that here we have the options for the onboarding onboard a device if you click on the deployment method you could see the different deployment methods here like local script which is we have to conduct manually we have to download the script and we have to run that script in each devices individually again a big task for us and the second one through group policy from group policy you can push the script to all devices then through mecm in olden days we were saying sscm now it is moved it is says as microsoft endpoint configuration manager mecm MECM, you can again push this to push the script to all the devices. We will see the first method local script. To do that, we have to download the onboarding package. So you could see the onboarding package, which is a zip file, and here it guides you how to do that. So you download the package and uh, save it in zip file, extract the content, go to the command prompt as a uh, administrator, and Take the location and run it. Run the script. So in this way, uh, to each device, you will have to run the script for onboarding Microsoft Defender uh, for endpoint. So easiest method we have already seen the automatic onboarding. If you do not have the option to onboard it through Intune, then you will have to do it manually on all the machines. So the next option is through Group Policy. Group policy again. You can you can download this package and you can push this script to group policy and MECM. So I believe I have showed the all the method how to onboard Microsoft Defender for Endpoint to the devices. So now we have onboarded the devices. So how to, how we can come to know whether these devices are onboarded or not, and how we can manage those devices from the Defender portal. So to do that. Again, we come to the same blade here. If you scroll down, you can you could see the devices here. Click on the devices, it will list all the devices that has been onboarded. So in our case, we could see three devices as onboarded under devices. And if you click on the device, you could see the event logs related to a particular device where domain joined, which OS version it has. What is the SAM name and the device ID, and you will get all the details. So, uh, and here also, incident if any incidents or alert in that particular mission, it will display here. If any security recommendation, that will list here. Inventories, discovery. So, uh, these areas uh, I shall do a separate video, uh, it will be a lengthy video otherwise. So, that's it. We will meet in the other video. Till then, goodbye.